this bill should be processed forthwith to ensure that whenever there are disputes concerning boundaries, Mr. Speaker, it should be resolved at any given chance, Mr. Speaker. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, I support this petition, the prayers that has been given by these people of Mutarantara. Uh, Sub-location, Mr. Speaker, is within their right. I hope in the next 14 days, Mr. Speaker, if you drew your indulgence, I know there is timeline under the petitions, that you can order that the said committee rules, reports back with progress, Mr. Speaker. We had to see people being evicted, losing their land, being robbed their dignity, losing their houses, Mr. Speaker. And I know the issue of land is not only, Mr. Speaker, an issue that concerns them. Even Nandi, we have similar issues. And we are trying to work with the government. I want to encourage the people of Embu to work with the government of the day and the Ministry of Lands to ensure they access those documentation. Because where I come from, the Bitcoin exchange program, the way we share border with my brother, Senator Otsosi, among other areas in Nandi, Mr. Speaker, we are working closely to ensure, Mr. Speaker, that we go into the uh, future. Mr. Speaker, finally, it is wrong for any Kenyan to be denied to visit any part of this country. The allegations that have been made by Deputy, my, my, uh, Deputy Minority Leader is not, Mr. Speaker, is not a, it is not a statement that we should encourage. Every leader in this country should allow to be visited. Mr. Speaker, but did you notice the deputy minority leader sounds agitated? I don't know because uh, Raila Odinga has decided to take the AU chairmanship or what is happening or the paradise is not safe, Mr. Speaker, or is no longer enjoyable. But we wish him and Kalonzo all the best, Mr. Speaker. I thank you and I submit. Senator Onyoka Richard.